Hurricanes can pose a serious threat to submarines, especially those operating near the surface. But the level of danger isn't the same in every situation. It depends largely on two things, the submarine's depth and its operational status at the time the storm hits. When a hurricane is approaching, submarines don't stay in harbor waiting for it to pass. They can't afford to. Instead, they head out to sea at maximum speed. Their first objective is to reach a safe dive point, often located near the edge of the continental shelf, where the shallow coastal waters give way to the true depths of the ocean. Once they arrive, they dive, fast and deep. At greater depths, submarines are remarkably insulated from the chaos unfolding on the surface. The howling winds, the violent waves, they become almost irrelevant below a certain depth. Submerged, a submarine can move under the storm's path, often without feeling a single jolt from the chaos above. But that doesn't mean they're entirely safe. Hurricanes don't just affect the surface. They can stir up powerful underwater currents, shift thermoclines, and disrupt sonar and navigation systems. Visibility can drop. Instruments become less reliable. The further they try to maneuver beneath the storm, the more they depend on experience, instincts, and training. From time to time, the submarine must rise to periscope depth, just enough to catch radio signals or satellite data, to receive storm updates or fresh orders from command. That brief moment near the surface is critical. One wrong reading, one missed warning, and the vessel could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But if a submarine is caught on the surface as the hurricane closes in, the situation becomes far more dangerous. High winds and rough seas can hammer the hull, making control difficult or impossible. Submarines aren't designed for long surface operations in extreme weather. A direct hit from a hurricane could result in damage, flooding, or, in the worst case, capsizing. That's why speed and timing are everything. Once a submarine submerges, it buys itself precious time and safety. If not, the consequences can be catastrophic. And even after the hurricane moves past, the mission might not be over. Returning to port may no longer be an option. Harbors can be devastated, piers torn apart, waterways jammed with wreckage, sunken ships or drifting debris. In such cases, the submarine must remain on patrol, punching holes in the ocean, as the sailors grimly call it. Moving in endless loops through the deep, waiting for clearance, waiting for infrastructure to be restored. The crew, exhausted and anxious, can do nothing but wait. Every single person on board has the same thought. Is my home still there? Is my family safe? But until the signal comes, until it's safe to surface, dock, and disembark, they remain in the depths, surrounded by silence, steel, and pressure below the storm, alone with their thoughts, and at the mercy of the sea.